So I wanted to just show how I am advancing my development flow, my dev workflow in Node. Um, I have shared a lot of my client side workflow um, and I've been keen to get these tools into uh, or to use them on the server side. And I've started trying to use Iron Node, um, which is a similar tool to uh, the tool I'm about to show you. Um, and apparently Iron Node also supports workspaces, but I think there's a bug that means that it only, it doesn't quite work the way I want it to. So um, I've set that aside for a moment and I've tried out a tool called uh, DevTool. So um, I should npm DevTool. It's just a global install utility you use it instead of Node. Um, so DevTool and then the actual source of the code. So um, I've got a bug here where this is saying that the, um, I'm doing some tree parsing in uh, Node of Node modules and it says that this package is extraneous uh, when it shouldn't be. Um, so what I'm doing is uh, going to my code, really simply finding the point where it marks uh, the dependency as extraneous. I'm just gonna slap in a debugger statement there and then just run my code. But instead of running it with Node, I'll use the, um, the dev tools and I'll show you that now. So uh, let's back out of these. Um, so I do resolve dot, oh no, no sorry, uh, dev tool. Oh, wrong version of Node, excuse me. I do a lot of switching with NVM. So dev tool, I've already pre-installed it. Um, and this is the command I need. It'll fire up the um, dev tools, which are fairly, fairly similar to the ones, uh, the one of the uh, dev tools now in browser. Things like, like drag and drop the, um, the tabs isn't there yet, but I imagine that they will just keep in sync. Um, so let's remember some previous breakpoints. I'm just going to uncheck these breakpoints um, and hit play. And I should hit the debugger. There you go. So I hit the debugger. Um, and now I can do what I normally do on the client side. The only thing I can't do is workspaces. So I have to try and remember uh, the code changes I made or I should be able to do save as and actually save it to my disk. Um, again, Iron Node is a very similar tool. Um, it has a large kind of part down one side of the page that's taken up with a, a readme, but um, it's supposed to support um, workspaces. The reason I found this was that uh, it also profiles the code for me. So um, I was using it to uh, look at where the JavaScript performance was going um, and where the time was going. So if I let this play out, or uh, actually just exit out, and go to my CLI code, I can add um, in here, uh, console.profile start profile. I think it's profile. And I'm just gonna do um, profile run and I'm just going to end the run uh, before it actually spits out the tree. Uh, profile end I think it is. It's quick. Yeah. Oops. Space. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm, I'm using this and and just to make sure it exists because there's no profile in regular node and I don't want that code to actually execute. So I'm just going to quit the DevTools and rerun it. Um, it's going to pause. Uh, let's play that out. If I go to um, the console, I can see that the profile is finished running. Go over to the profile, I can look at the, uh, the run and I can see a full, um, uh, what are they called? Flame chart. So I can see where it starts to kind of eat up a lot of uh, uh, space. Uh, CPU at this point, this point during the uh, the execution, and I, I actually found uh, an infinite loop by looking at this. I, I exit the infinite loop after um, uh, ten thousand calls, something like that, just to just force the code to finish. Um, I could see where the flame was going very very deep, um, and from there I could actually dig into the actual function um, and see why it was being called and worked out that I had an infinite loop because of a mistake in my code. Um, but this is very helpful, and I can also look at. I can. I should be able to save these if it's the same, uh, same tool. Oops. Uh, profile. Oh, yeah, save. So I should be able to save them. Um, theoretically, I should be able to load it into DevTools and actually look and compare uh, over time if I make ch small changes. Like, say I only want to. Um, I start caching uh, packages, for instance. Let's just speed it up. 
um, and I should be able to compare these uh, in CPU profile. So anyway, yep, I thought I'd share that. Um, hopefully it's useful to uh, some of you out there. Um, DevTool is the name of the package. Uh, again, the other one is IronNode. I'm pretty sure IronNode has performance as well, but I just wanted this, this to try this tool out and it's pretty clean. Um, when I was uh, in the breakpoint, I can also kind of run code in here, you know, as you would. Um, inside the source, I've got, you know, watches all work and so on and so forth. So, yeah, pretty useful. Uh, I recommend you checking out.